Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Ra, my soul family. This message is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Aries. This is all about what is this. Uh, on June 20th, we are having a solar eclipse in Cancer, fellow cardinal sign. And Cancer, this new moon, Aries, is all about fresh starts, new beginnings, and it's just a beginning. So what you're starting to feel inside you right now, right? And Cancer, being that Cancer is a water sign, Cancer is all about your emotions and how you feel. So a new way of feeling inside of you, feeling differently, how you see yourself from the inside out, from who you used to be. So building a life on a different foundation. Home is cancer. So how are you feeling within your home, literally, and inside your home, right? What is within you? Also changing things in your life. So some family and home changes also that are occurring because of it being in a sign of cancer. Now I'm no astrologer, but I did do my homework. And in talking about the solar, the solar is when it's a solar, it's a superpower, the new moon. So it gives it that much more importance. So this is a massive emotional shift in cancer, and it will be with us for many years to come, which changes everything about your life. So also the solar that's occurring in cardinal sign cancer starts things in a direction, right? Cardinal, like yourself, starts things off in a direction. Being that it's cancer, it is about home and how you're feeling. So major sense of self-direction that we love having trying to get our life um, we've been trying to do for the past two and a half years so this is like realigning you what have you been trying to get yourself to in the past two and a half years and now it's starting to begin here in this sign of cancer so let's see what's going on with Aries so if you're a cross watcher welcome it could be a message here for you and we are going to do, I'm just going to, I'm not going to take them all, but I am going to take, oh, so these wanted to come out. I'm going to take them. Um, so we have shower of abundance. What do you desire and ask? So, so far I'm seeing that with this um, solar new beginning, new moon that is coming for you is a whole new way of communicating with the universe. And it's a whole new way of you really looking at what is it that you want to create with a shower of abundance, right? And this is you tapping into your own desires. So this is you really uh, taking the time to ask to go within, but it's not that you're really asking something on the outer because even your angels and your guides and and others are all a part of you. So it's really going within and seeking the answers that you're seeking within yourself and also asking for guidance from your higher self, ancestors, guides, extraterrestrials. Uh, it doesn't matter, you know, ascended masters, archangels to come in and to really guide you on your path. But I'm going to get to these in just a second. So I just want to, I'm trying to keep these, woo! Um, the alchemy card. So we're going to go. I'm trying to keep these very short this time around. Um, I'd like to keep it as short as possible. So let's see. Okay. Control. Shine. I will take them both. And let me take from the energy deck here. So this one. Okay. This one wants to come out. And this was in its reversal. So I'm going to kind of also keep it at that but this is also the garden and the gate so again on on a, when it comes on a card that is reversed although i don't believe that i think these cards do come in a reversal let me get one more and i'm gonna go here okay let me do one more and i'm sorry i did not tell you what any of these cards are this one is a sacred uh, destiny card. And let's just give you one here. Let me give you one. Okay, that's the one that wants to come out. And we're going to put wonder. So that's beautiful. So it really is all your stuff. Your cards right now are talking about um, new, new, new. So everything here is really uh, screaming and talking about the new things that are coming into your life. Um let me take a moment here. Hmm. 
Okay. This is all about bringing in, like I said, um, believing and realizing, harnessing potential of new things that are coming into your life. I'm going to read these cards to you, and then um, I, I think I'll go to the book with this one. But here with the Shower of Abundance, it is saying to heal your financial situation, first give up your worries concerning money. We will guide you in order to show you how to create and accept abundance. As we work together, your financial situation will heal as fast as you will allow. And with the card alchemy underneath, right? So this is, you have the Midas touch right, touch right now. With every project you begin turns to gold. So this is a beginning, right? The Cancer is talking about what is something you feel. And I love that this card came out for you. What do you desire? So this is really going within yourself and asking yourself, what is it that you want to begin? What project? How do you see um, abundance? How are you seeing your life right now? When you're seeing everything is already beautifully manifested for you, you are creating that. So whatever, however way you look at money and however way you look at the material, that is what you are creating. You can create the most magical, um, most uh, abundant powerful life for yourself but what are your beliefs when it comes to work when it comes to money when it comes to abundance because whatever your beliefs are that is exactly what it is that you're creating so be careful what you're thinking about yourself and about your direction because whatever you're thinking is what you are creating right and there's a need here that, uh, with the card as i'm seeing the card um control and i'm you know it's so funny because I, I'm sorry, it's not so funny, but the card control, and I have to just go directly to this card because when this card, hang on one second, I'm going to read it to you. So here, keywords for this is master, influence, accept, compassion, patience, and confidence. So relationship must be fluid and free rather than overly rigid and controlled by emotional neediness or insecurity it is important to master your emotions so that they do not rule the relationship a partnership based slowly solely on emotion is out of balance and out of control self-control is the key here act from a combination of emotional and into and intellect and your relationship will blossom so this is when i'm looking at this you are meant to shine. The only thing that you can control is what is it that you want to do? I believe that for you, Aries, that right now you are asking what your next step is in your direction of your life's purpose. And with the wonder card that is coming out for you as well, this is really tapping in to the mysteries and to the magic of what the universe really has for you. Again, I feel like there's... there. You, there's a feeling of feeling stuck with this card at the bottom. But with this card, it's just everything that you're looking for. There's so many possibilities and it's just right around the corner for you. This is about you really believing in that. Sometimes things um, aren't showing themselves to you. You have to kind of go out and try different things. Be open and believe that anything and everything here is possible. So when you allow that to come in, right, when you allow um, these things to open up for you, then you can really see the direction that you're going. When this card appears, it says you now have the opportunity to write the script according to your heart's true desire. Once you clearly decide, the, the key word here is clearly decide upon your true desires and know that you're ready and deserving of them, They'll rush into your life as if by magic. So again, really look at the kind of lifestyle that you want to live. What is it that you want to create? Really, what? how do you feel about this is cancer? So how do you feel? What feeling do you get? And this is the only thing that you can control is nobody else outside of you, right? But how do you feel with your life? And 
What is it that you want to move toward? What's going to give you that heart opening? See, her heart is like expanding. This is the solar. She's in alignment, right, with the yellow. She's in alignment with the universe. She's allowing herself to shine from the heart space. So she is one with all the elements. And the only thing that she's controlling is how he, she, right, both masculine, feminine, both you're being so protected, you're being watched after, but again, which eyes are you looking at? Go within so you can really hear the voice of your inner spirit. And with the ask card that is saying, ask us to help you in this situation and we will immediately go to work on your behalf. We're governed by many universal laws and among them in the free will that allows you to make your own choices and decisions. So be patiently, so we wait, patiently await your request. So yes, what is it that's going to make your heart sing? Go within, ask yourself, what do you desire? See, how is it that you see your money situation, right? So this is about how do you see it? And with this card in reverse, it indicates a happy choice to open the door, right? To move. So it's like, again, being indecisive, not knowing in what direction you want to move towards, right? So when this card appears, this is also talking about... <sighs> I feel like there's a block with a shower of abundance here like there's a part of you that wants this abundant life and then the part of you says that you are you can just go without you're seeing the world in a different eyes but that's not how the world is the world is here for your taking but not from a place of greed but to really realize that everything within your life is abundant and really this is about going beyond it so the universe is willing to fear your life with beauty and joy. So you're to expect the unexpected for the joyous um, synchronicities that this card has for you. So this is come back to alignment, to really seeing the world as abundant because the world really wants to gift you with abundance. But there's a sense of clarity. That clarity is you aligning yourself with your own higher self and going within so you can get the wonders of your life of what it is that you want to tap into and what direction it is that you want to go to because you are an alchemist. Whatever you think you can create, whatever you think that you want and do, it is exactly what is happening for you. Let's close you. Oh, too many. I'm just going to put these back and let's do this one more time. What message do we want to close? Okay, we're just going to take timeout. I like the timeout card because this is awareness, contemplation, solitude, time alone. Yeah. So this is exactly that. The answers that you're seeking Aries and what to do is, you know, it is taking that time to go within so you can ask and reflect about the opportunities, about all the possibilities that are out there for you. What is it that's going to open your heart up to sing? What is it that you truly desire? The answers that you are seeking are within you. So you have to take the time to go within so you can hear the answers best. Aries, this is a time right now that is showing you that the last two and a half years, how you have seen money and how you see your abundance today. What is it that you want to create? And what kind of work is going to really come from your heart and is going to make your life sing into and really seeing the wonders of life. And it just takes you taking a moment for you, Aries. Thank you for watching. And I will talk to you guys um, next month. Bye.